Hey. Hey. In this video we will see three situations with short circuit. In the first, we are asked, what will you observe when you turn on the switch? Do you have the answer? We observe the heating of the steel wool. It is observed that the bulbs did not shine. We will seek to interpret. There was a green wire that shorted both bulbs at the same time. So what happened? The current went through the path that resisted it the least and if the steel wool burned it was because the current was intense. The current has to be strong for the steel wool to be destroyed like that. Once the steel wool has been destroyed, the current does not flow. That is to say that what we now see on the screen only happens when the steel wool still makes contact. As soon as it no longer makes contact, this is somewhat the case with fuses, it saves the generator which would empty very quickly, since if the generator is very busy, its lifespan will be shorter. In situation number 2, there is still a green wire here which is shorting a lamp. What will you observe when you turned on the switch? Do you have the answer? We observe that the lamp which is not short-circuited shines, the one which is short-circuited does not shine and the steel wool remains intact, we will try to interpret with the diagram. The current circulates in the red part which is the part which resists it the least. The current has no choice, it has to pass through this bulb. Which limits it all the same. which therefore spares the battery in the steel wool. Situation number 3, if we close the switch after observing the circuit, what will happen? Do you have the answer? The steel wool has burnt. No light bulb shown. We will seek to interpret. There are two bypass bulbs and a wire that shorts one of the two bulbs. Except that this wire, by short-circuiting one of the two bulbs, short-circuits the other bulb and the generator. That is to say that there is nothing between the positive terminal and the negative to limit the current which becomes very intense and which can burn the steel wool. The current becomes very intense. If the circuit is not protected, the temperature rises so much that it can cause a fire. That's it for this video. Thank you.